Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG server playing Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. And I'm here at spawn. Yeah, this is spawn. If it's looking a little pinky to you, that's because this is the Dream World spawn. And I'm here because I need to make some stuff. Let's come down here. And uh, Toddy, this is his setup for moving stuff around and for so he can request things from his inventory, which is cool, and a bunch of other things that he made here. And that's really nice because that makes it really easy to get things back and forth. But I'm here because I need to make some stuff. Let's see, if I take a quick look, I want a catalyst. Specifically, I want this conjuration catalyst. I've got everything here except the focused will, which needs this brew of flowing spirit. That I don't have. But to make that, I need to go ahead and dump these things into a kettle and I'll get the brew of flowing spirit. I've tried this already at my base two, three, two, two, three times, and it never worked. And I watched Toddy's video again, and, and sure enough, he came over here into the dream world to make the, the, the brew, and I went, ah. It doesn't say anything about needing to be in the dream world, but yes, here he is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use his setup, which is very nice. I, I brought my own stuff here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So. Fanciful thread. Here, let's show you how I made that. Whoops, nope, not that. Brew. Fanciful thread. Uh, spinning wheel at my base. And some of the wispy cotton that I harvested thanks to having uh, mistaken with me. And we, we did the harvesting here. String order odor of purity. I keep wanting to say order, but yeah. Anyway, so I uh, made a bunch of the fanciful thread. So we're here, so let's dump it in. Dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Oh, see, that's looking much better. It was brownish when I was making it back in my place. So this is much better. Click, click, click. Ho ho, alrighty. Very nice, very nice. And let's take a water bottle and we'll fill that back up. Are you not filling back up? You look like you should be filling back up. Do you see how I'm missing the water bottle? If I refresh, hmm, water bottle's gone. I still don't see any water in there. No. Oh well, don't care. Ah, very nice, very nice. So I have my witch's brew, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my inventory and I don't need these things here. Cool, time to wake up. Let's do that. Here's my icy needle. Gonna jab it right in my hand. Uh, let's try that again. Let's jab it in my hand, right click. And that worked. And I'm back. And I have this massive staff of power. Big staff of power. Okay. Let's get out of here. And, oh, yes, I can come back here. Give me you, give me you, give me you, give me you. All right, because I'll put those back. And let's head back to the base. Vroom. Back to the base. Yeah, lost wither. Toddy the body lost a wither around here someplace. And up to the magical islands. Alrighty, very nice, very nice. Um, why am I coming up here? Because I need, oh, that's right. I need to come up to the witchery island for several things. I am going to put back my kettle. Let's uh, ignite that, and then here's my kettle. And let's click that against him. There, very nice, very nice. All right, so that works there. I need to come over to here and wait for it to stop spawning. I don't know, right? So that should, yep, chunkity, chunkity, chunkity. That's gonna go ahead and produce the bits I need. That's hollow tears, hollow tears, condensed fear, and focused will. That's what we need. So let's just zip back to the base. And here, oh, doesn't have it. Catalyst. 
I had all the stuff in here for like forever. There we go. Let's dump you guys back in because I don't need you. And there's my conjuration catalyst, which is very cool. Dump, dump. And let's head back up. Yeah, I went ahead and actually labeled these so that uh, people who come to the base will know where they need to go. And I want to put, let's see, you've got nothing. You've got the, the other catalyst there. Yeah, enchanting setup. And let's go ahead and put, since those two will be used for that, let's do it over here. Choppity, choppity. Put you right there. Put you right there. Cool. So at this point, I can take arcane stone blocks and I can duplicate them. Bloop. 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 Oh, that's so cool. All right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, let's do a whole bunch. Boom. We look at it go. <laughs> All right. This 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 is why I wanted the the uh, the the catalyst was to make lots and lots of these because I was sick and tired of going through and making these by hand. And now you can see I've got I had like 20 some odd and now I've got a whole bunch more. I've almost uh almost my full four stacks. That's a couple more. There we go. Four full stacks of arcane stones, which is really good because I want to come up here and I need to make all the runes to go around my tier 6 so that I can upgrade this because I've got all the bits I need here to upgrade those. In fact, if we take a quick look, shards. I have almost a hundred of both of these shards because I was having fun killing the demons and getting their stuff and saying, hey, thank you, and taking it away. And in fact, if we come over to here, and we'll ignore the the nodes for right now, I have it set up. We've got the, the blood shard, that's the Gaia spirit ingot, there's the soul shard, a null catalyst, and then more of the same around here with a large... I coughed so soon I couldn't even find the, the cough button. Uh, with a large bloodstone brick right here, so all I need is a wand, and I think I left one right here. I did. Gimme. And let's go ahead and smackety smack this and make this happen. No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's smack the top and make this happen. <laughs> Oh, just look at that thing, shake and shimmy. I, I watched Toddy's video, and his stuff was not nearly doing the funky dance that mine is doing. As long as it works, I don't care, but I would love to know why it's doing the shake and shimmy so much. And, and I'm hoping that with all these things I've got tossed around here, lots and lots and lots and lots of things to stabilize, that we're stable enough that's my hope. All right, this is going to take a while because it needs 64 of the Precontatio, the Fabric, Fabrio, the Spiritus, and the the Moveaboutimus. <laughs> I can't remember, Permitatio. Anyway, I'm going to speedy up while it does this bit. Yay! So that's done, and not sucking in the bits. There goes that. That shard. Null catalyst. That shard. Guy ingot. This shard, and then that null catalyst, and we should be good. Bah! Yeah! All right. Very, very nice. So that's first of many, and you can see I've got enough here for another three. I thought I had enough for another four. Yep, I've got four here. Yes. All right, so I need to reproduce this a bunch more times so that uh, I've got enough. Yeah. And there goes number two. And since I'm going to be doing a bunch of these, I'm borrowing a trick I saw Thor do where he put hoppers 
And so this has my uh, soul shards in it, and I've got the other three that I need here. And so each one of these hoppers has stuff. So if for some reason I, I had some instability and it, it popped one of these off, it would drop another one right in. But as these get consumed up, uh, I have all the, the items right here, so I can just press on through. So while that's doing that thing, over here, hey, I've got some whole bunch of shards, not shards, I've got a whole bunch of nodes here. And before, I had a node, and then next to it was one, maybe another on the other side, and they were they were uh, bullying uh, the ones the, that were weaker and growing the nodes there. And that worked okay, and I went ahead and stabilized it, and life was good. But this bad boy here, <laughs> it's hard to see. <laughs> There's all the stuff. Let's see if I can get it to where you can actually see it all. Yeah, it's it's it's. It, I've got so many things in there because I found a bunch of other aspects that I've I've included in this. Because hey, why not? But uh, the way these are set up, there are blocks. Uh, I think there's five spaces in between these. Let's check real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there's five spaces in between these these nodes and also from up to bottom. So it's a seven by seven by seven uh, area here where the nodes are. And right in the center is my node that's doing the bullying. And it's it's a better deal than I did last time because when it's just one-on-one, -on -one, the, the, the big bullying node could go ahead and, and consume the others completely gone. But uh, this one, actually, the, these are lasting for a lot longer. They pretty much don't go down because they keep healing themselves back up as they naturally regen. So that, that works out really well. That's hard to see in the light. Uh, but So this is growing and growing and growing, which is, which is really nice. Are you done still? No, you're still doing your thing. All right, so, um, and I want to grow this one up and get it going, but I, I still want to stabilize him, but I've got that big bad boy up there. In fact, let's take my magnet off, because otherwise I will get lots of stuff on me as I'm feeding it. <laughs> That's just huge. Let's see where what it's gotten up to. All right, we are six seven hundreds in a bunch of them and then for the aqua and terra uh, we've broken a thousand on those so this is what I'm gonna go ahead and stabilize but not gonna do that for right now because this should be big and huge but I wanted to show off this one over here just because this is a really cool setup and so you know that it takes longer but you've got eight nodes that are feeding into it so it just grows and grows and grows, which is really cool. Are you done? Yay, you're done. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and snag you, put in the next, smackety smack you, and we'll start with the next one, and off we go. Cool, this is very nice. Alrighty, there's my fifth, which is good. Let's bounce over here. Oh, here, let me show off my uh, <laughs> nodes on top of my Botania area. <laughs> I found them, and I figured, why not? So I've got uh, some nice glowy red orbs around all of those. Anyway, but uh, on over here, let's go ahead and smack off the tanzanite, because we don't need those there anymore. Pop. And pop. And let's put down our crystal clusters. While it quickly shuffles through the night into day. Yeah, there's the moon. Jump, jump, jump. Alrighty, so uh, I went ahead and made some speed runes so that the, the process will go faster as I make things. So that's 20 of the speed runes put in place. And I am updating a bunch of these runes. I got a stack of these tier one um, no, no, slates, sigils, slates. Slates. Uh, I've got a, a bunch of these blank ones, like a stack of them. I need to go ahead then and upgrade these to the tier two, the reinforced slates, and then a bunch of them need to be turned into tier three, the demon, and or is that the blood? No, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, so I need to get a bunch of these because I'm looking at. So we got the the speed. I'm going to go ahead and put in 16 of these superior capacity 
runes, which will improve how much can be held by my altar itself. Yeah, see, it's doing 135 right now, 1,000. And I'd like to have more in there, because, you know, it means I can do more faster. And then I'm going to upgrade the rest with the runes of sacrifice, so that my witches will give me more of their life essences as I chew them up. Yeah, all good, peaceful, lovely things. Now, I know you've been tell talking to yourself as you've been looking at the slates cook here in my blood altar. You're, you're saying, how come I didn't see all those little swirly animations? Well, that's because I have them off by default. And I would love to see them as they're being crafted, but you see, I've got all these little burbly potion effects on me because I run around with the fire amulet on and if I'm at spawn I get four effects on there and that's a lot of bubbles so I come into here into my options video settings and I'll go to animations and I'll turn off the potion uh, effects because I don't want that and and I get all those because of Optifine which helps really kick up uh, my, my resources a, a notch, which is nice. So no fart bubbles on me, but it also means I can't really see that these guys are processing. Eh, that's okay. I, I can I can live without that. But let's see, we're, we're making some tier three. And yeah, at this point, I'm actually chewing up more of the the stuff in the altar the the blood life points in the altar yeah and I'll forever call it blood uh faster than the witches below are making them the the first two tiers the witches were keeping up so at this point this is one of the reasons why I I want to get some more of these uh, runes of sacrifice in place cuz that'll keep this nice and topped off anyway these guys need to cook up a little bit more and then some of these I'm going to turn into the the top tier what are the names of all these things? That's the Tanzanite slate. Let's see. So reinforced slate. I need to make some imbued slate. That's the tier three. And then I need 15 more of these demonic slates. So that's the, 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 the next one on those. Alrighty, time to cook. There are now four on each side, so a total of 16 of these superior capacity runes in place, so that's good. But there are 10 of these redstone blocks on each side, so that's 40. I almost said 30, but I can math. Uh, so that means I need some more of these slates turned into the third one, the infused. And so that's what's processing here. But if we take a quick look at, not the Arthana, but the Sacrifice, this rune here, the Rune of Sacrifice, requires, yeah, the Imbued Slates, which I got and uh, making, but it requires Dagger of Sacrifices, two of them in there. And that requires an Arthana. So I have a whole chest full of Arthanas and 50 more waiting to come up here. So as soon as these are finished, then the Arthanas will go through and we should be good to go. In fact, I should change that into a Ender chest because then as these things get processed, they just flow through. Yeah, but not for right now. So more stuff generating up. So I have my 40 now. Uh, let's drop a little lower there. Oh, I don't want to break it so many. Oh well, got to be so <laughs> careful with this. Uh, anyway, let me put my 40 in here. And while I'm doing that, just to respond a little bit to some of the, the messages I've been getting, some people are saying, hey, how come you haven't published anything for a while? Are you done with the, the, the Feed the Beast series? No, I am loving it and having a blast, but I've had visitors here, uh, family and friends that have been at the house for the last, it seems like uh, three or four weeks, but no, it's only been two. And every time I wanted to do something, they were, you know, they were saying, oh, hey, let's watch this movie and let's do this and that's fantastic and all that. But, you know, I was going, ah, I'm right in the middle of wanting to record something. Oh well. But love to have the people here. It was always a blast to have having uh, visitors come and stay. Uh, even if it uh, causes problems with the, the video posting. And uh, my sister-in-law left for... Uh, she was the, the last person here. 
And so, let's see, it was that one, and then that one, and that one. And now I've got a few of these that I'm not sure, but uh, she went home today. And one, two, three, four, you need one there, and one there, and then where'd the other ones go? Here you are. Right there, and right there. That should be a tier six altar, are you? So, still having loads of fun. Tier six, woohoo! Look at that, great. All right, so that is fantastic having that in place. So now I need to go ahead and yank you out of the way, put you there, and let's set you up so that you can get converted. And you need 200,000. How are you doing? Oh, you're building up. All right. I think that should... I'm going to wait till I have a full 200,000 because the speed runes may uh, cause some issues. How fast are you going up? Okay, that's that's going up in, in like a 2,000 or so chunks, so nice. All right, I'll just stick you in right now. And let that process away. Let's take a quick look. Oh, Vernas. So there's my tier six altar all up and functional, and soon I will have me the, the tier six orb, which is exactly what I've been dying to get. Ooh, done already? Oh, I love the speed. Alrighty, let's go ahead and you are now mine. And let's see, oh yeah, see the, the, the information on the left, I have a lot more space in my network for that to fill up. So we will update you, don't need you anymore, but you go there. Alrighty, and I'm going to stick you in. You can start uh, feeding up my, my uh, network get lots and lots of life points in there and done tier six cool you know the, it's fun setting up the 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 demon invasion and checking all that stuff out and and i like the interaction of the mods here with the expert mode because you know having to do some of that having to do some witchery a uh, little bit of botany to make uh, getting all the runes in place faster nice and i do like these purple they're they're cool looking Alrighty, well, I've got me a tier six altar. Oh yeah, very nice. And that's gonna sit there, and uh, the witches down below that we can't even see anymore, they are going to be uh, giving me all their uh, lovely uh, life essence, and that goes into the, the 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 network, which is fantastic. And then I'm thinking rituals. There are gobs of blood magic rituals, and there are so few that I've done. So it's time to play with some of those and uh, get some of them going. And some Thalmcraft. I have been putting off doing the the forbidden magics to get the uh, void metal unlocked. So gonna have to do that. It's about time I did that. Yep. Anyway. This has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG server, playing Fee the Beast Infinity Evolved. Expert Tier 6 Blood Magic Mode. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!